Hey everybody, happy Monday. I am here again to talk about the meta that hasn't changed for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. If you like playing what you're playing now, um, that's good because I think we have another five weeks of seeing the same decks over and over again. Um, there's not a lot of variation from last week, week before. Most of the decks that I've talked about in the past month, I would say, are still valid. There is a couple of small, slight variations. I'm going to talk about those today. But Warlock, Paladin, Death Knight, and Warrior. Um, I'm not talking about Warrior a lot, even though the win rates are high, because the decks are just too expensive. Um, way over the 5,000 uh, dust limit that I try to put on all of the decks that I include in these videos. So looking at the win rates, looking at the meta overview, not the win rates, look at Death Knight. Plague and Rainbow. Uh, Rainbow is awesome, but Rainbow is just way too expensive. Aggro's a little bit on here, 52.5% win rate. It's got good games, but it's also a little bit too expensive. Listen, Treant Druid and Dragon Druid are still going strong. They're both very high. We're going to talk about Treant today. Um, you got a lot of Hunter options, a lot of Hunter options. Problem is they're all too expensive, all way above 5,000 dust. Uh, you've got Mage. Mage only has Secret, Mining, Excavate. It's brand new. We're going to talk about it for a few minutes. The rest of them, the win rates are not as high as they used to be. And I really think it's just all the other decks that are low cost are just drowning out the rest of the classes uh paladin you got aggro you've got earthen you've got dancing and you've got mech um paladin strong you've got the aggro you've got a little bit of combination of aggro and excavate um it's just pretty busted uh priest you have undead play it while it lasts because undead archetype is being removed with the core set refresh in a couple of weeks rogue has mech and secret and big but they're all too expensive uh, rounding it all out with Shaman, you have Totem. Totem's still strong. Play that while it lasts because um, the core set refresh removes Eyesore. Um, Highlander Shaman is right at 50%. It's just way too expensive. Um, Elemental Shaman is there. It looks like there's going to be some core set changes that will help Elemental Shaman, so maybe we'll see something there. And then Warlock is just sludge and mining, but it's crazy the amount of games that have been played with that look at that 57,000 games for sludge warlock so you should be seeing a lot of those and then warrior has control in highlander and a little bit of rock and roll warrior but the problem is the, the the decks are just way too expensive so getting into the individual decks we have secret mining mage and that one is 4,160 dust and right now stands at 68.6 percent .6 win rate um this deck is just all secrets. All secrets, a little bit of Burrow Buster, um, Blast Mage Miner based on what you excavate, Contract Conjurer. I'm not sure how this is able to win the games that it's winning. Um, I haven't seen this played yet. I'm just throwing out this information that this is the only thing Mage related. It's brand new. I have not seen this at all in the past couple of weeks. So brand new is you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a term we're going to use. Um, and it looks interesting. I just don't see how, um, this is killing all of the board states that have been, you know, rampant in the past few weeks. Look at Treant Druid, look at, um, some of the stuff that you could do with Paladin. I just don't see it, but it is there and it is below 5,000 dust. I did want to talk about Plague Death Knight. This is my favorite class right now. I'm loving Plague. I'm loving Rainbow. This one right here is at four. 4,400 dust, and it's a 61.7% win rate. Uh, Lord Marogar is in this deck, which keeps it down to that 4,400 dust. It lies. It says it's 6,000, but this is in the core set. Um, this is also going away. It's going to be taken out of the core set in the refresh, but I'm not really using, when I'm playing Plague Death Knight, I'm not really using any of the end, end game. I'm not using Lord Marogar. I'm not using the Primus. Every once in a while, I'm using Reska, but that's not in this deck. Um, this is just Plagues. And the one thing, and I don't know why I haven't seen this before. So you're trying to work on putting as much Plagues in as possible. And the combination, again, I don't know why I haven't seen this before. You've got Down with the Ship. you got Distressed Cavaldier. And this is Death Rattle. Summon two random Plagues into your opponent's deck. Well, you know what? For some reason, up until recently, I did not put the Yelling Yodeler in there. And it 
trigger a friendly minion's death rattle twice. So you can put multiple instances of plagues in the deck right away. Um, it's pretty smart. I don't know why I thought of it. Um, my death knight, uh, plague death knight deck has just been updated. And it's just like I said, building plagues. Get as much plagues in as possible. Hell yeah, you always want in there because it keeps the, um, the, the plagues that it's shuffling in. They're going to be continuing and it's just going to go back into the deck, back into the deck. It's fun deck that you should be playing and there's a bunch of options that you can tweak in if you have the cards and the dust uh next up so we're going to talk about this but we're going to talk about sledge warlock and sledge warlock is a 70.9 percent win rate and there's 57,000 games being played with this um if you are looking for something low cost it's below 5,000 it's at 4,680 dust with that win rate just play it it's if if you're looking at all of the games it's just Sludge Warlock is dominated across the board. A uh, total of 13% of all the other um, uh, decks being played. Look at that. It's just top, no matter what. It doesn't go any further than the top. Uh, Control Warriors next to it. Plague Death Knights next to it. But yeah, um, Sludge is what you want to be playing. If you just want to win and win and win, this deck will get you past gold. This deck will get you to legend if you are really good at this deck. So, uh, the next up that we'll talk about is Agro Paladin. That's another one. Agro Paladin is great. It's low cost. This one is 2,600 dust, and this one has the ability for you to tech in anything you want. If you have the cards, you could turn this into a Reno Paladin. You could turn this into an Excavate Paladin. You could turn this into a Dude Paladin. There's so much that you could do with this. Whatever Paladin cards you have, you can tech in and out of here. And the, the goal is, and I've said this multiple times, if you're playing against Paladin, do not leave anything on the board. Try to kill every minion every single time. You leave something on the board, it's going to bite you in the butt right afterwards because they're going to be able to build it with the spells and the other things that they can do in that deck. Don't sleep on this deck. Don't sleep on any minions. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Um, and then the last thing that we're going to talk about, Tree Android. This has also been around for forever now. 1,560 dust with a 68.2% win rate. It's cheap and it's really, really good with a lot of games to back up that claim that it's very, very, very good. And it's just building board states with your tree. So this one will summon 1-1 uh, one, one saplings. This one will help you discover a two-cost minion, which is, you know... A, a treant aerolizer summon a 2-2 two, two treant this is just building up as many treants as possible giving them soul the forest which helps them summon a 2-2 two, two treant and then cultivation should be next to zero whatever is on the board you can go ahead and make them plus two plus two you have life from death um i don't remember seeing this card in the last iteration of treant druid that i talked about so this one might be new um it's just a way to get more cards into your hand if you need it and it could cost one if you're doing it correctly and then you know summon flower child which draws the two cards so it'll draw life from death and cultivation and then you'll make them super cheap uh you've got plot of sin summon two two treants um and infuse them it'll be five five agents um don't sleep on this deck as well so that's all i have i also early 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 this morning it was like midnight 15 I posted a 30 minute video talking about all of the core set changes for Pegasus, um, what you're gonna see in the next couple of weeks when the core set refreshes, and it talks about it from a budget perspective. So I'm gonna link that in the description. Please check out this video. And like I said, the last couple of videos I've done, um, they've all been the same. So you'll be able to pull out any of those previous videos from the past month, any of those decks, and be able to play in the game Game, get yourself past gold get yourself even higher up on the on the ranked ladder food chain if you will and i will see you all in the next video